Okie dokie. Well, morning, everybody, and cast time once again. And, um, again, let me preface this by saying there's going to be a bunch of moving parts on this one. So, just get ready for some, get ready for some goofs here and there. So, um, not as, so, not as hasty as the past two casts, but there is, a lot of this was, was pretty much just thrown together at the last minute. So, um, but, uh, the, uh, for the music, this is going to be Song of a Forlorn Kingdom by Visions of Nifton. Uh, if, I already forgot the name of it. Oh, if you've ever heard the album Lamentation, uh, Full Moon over, over something, I can't remember the, the name of the city or whatever location it is, but if you've ever heard that one that's like really piano and organ heavy, this album here kind of resembles it. I just started listening to part of this. I'm like, hey, that sounds pretty cool. So, so let's get it up and running. Okay, so, so to start with, um, yeah, did a, I did a lot of gems of war, um, but uh, most of, my, most of my time was actually spent up. Uh, doing a challenge modes it it's kind of kind of hard to kind of hard to explain I don't have the game on right now but they're just uh they're just another game mode um you you know you start with super easy you know super easy super easy to kill monsters you know easy content and you gradually work your way up to like to like super you know super high level you know It'll kill you, kill you in one shot type monsters. It just, and yeah, it got to where, yeah, it got to where it took me a pretty long, pretty long while, probably about five minutes, just to complete one battle. Um, and uh, I actually made a video about this, documenting it. I figured it was kind of important, but yeah, it, like I, like I said, the, the, it got to where the combat was taking a pretty long time, but, um, I tend to play, uh, I prefer to play goblins. Uh, for for those that for those that don't know, for those that don't know how goblins play in Gems of War, um, one uh, one quirk they all have is they all gain an extra turn. Like after you cast your ability, you get to go again. So it's it's basically it's basically looping. Which, considering the content that I'm, the, considering the content that I'm doing, especially yesterday's. You know, uh, they they cannot get a turn. I I can't afford to let them get a chance because, like I said, these I was the monsters I was fighting could pretty much kill me in one shot. Um, high level PVP is also like that as well. You know, once you know once they get up, uh, once they get their spells charged up, it's all over for you. So my uh my uh, builds are are designed to keep that from happening. So. Good chunk of my time I spent in doing that. And already, big time goop. Um, let me. I don't know if I'll be able to change the settings right in the middle of recording this. Uh, I'm about to find out. Seem to work, so. Ah, uh, but otherwise, um, <laughs> so, so, something else freaking hilarious came up on my YouTube, uh, YouTube recommendations. <laughs> freaking Sloth TV. Like, this wasn't, this wasn't what I was watching when it first came up. Like, I was watching a sloth sleeping. Like, yeah, they, they, they have this in there. I mean, man, I I thought I'd seen everything, like especially back when I, especially back when I saw that they had like a, like like a paint drying videos. Yeah, paint drying. They actually have that. They also have a, uh, they also had videos of, 
absolute nothingness, like just a, a silent black screen. They got videos of that too. It's like, it's like, they never cease to amaze me. Gotta love that YouTube algorithm. Uh, but otherwise, one other thing I also tried doing was um, I tried getting into Final Fantasy XIV. And um, I was, uh, nope, I had to wait in a queue about 3,000 long, or position 3,000, so yeah, so much for that. Oh, I'm taking a drink of uh, Arizona green tea. Hold on. So, um, and I, I watched a little tiny bit of a, a Wooly versus podcast. And I, I guess, yeah, the guy in there was mentioning there was their, the, the company Squeenix or Square Enix. I just, we just call it Squeenix for short. They were actually short on semiconductors. I think that's what they said. Semiconductors. Like they were, act, they were, they were actually trying to get as many, they are trying to get more servers, try to get more servers up and running to, you know, to help, to handle the load. But, uh, and they were even offering to pay more, pay more, like, you know, like extra incentive and stuff. And, uh, they still couldn't do it. So, who knows how long this is going to go on. And then on top of that, uh, like I said yesterday, during the, uh, during the Games Awards, uh, Final Fantasy XIV actually won the award for, uh, Best Ongoing Game. So, there's, there's going to be people pouring into that game now. You know, people that, are, people that have thought nothing of the game before are going to when it probably won on the game or show and what Final Fantasy 14 best ongoing game oh I gotta go to I gotta play that game right now so I mean of course to be fair I mean to be fair I'm I mean I'm I'm no spring chicken either I mean I I, I actually purchased early access think I'm just gonna jump in and play early but totally forgetting that there's gonna be a huge mad rush to play the game when it first comes out so Good waste that was. This music somewhat reminds me of Minecraft music. But yeah, hopefully I'll be able to play that game eventually. Um... But otherwise, one other thing that I did is uh, I pulled um, I pulled a movie special one lit out of the mothballs. Uh, just wasn't feeling Planet Earth at the mo at the time, so decided to go ahead and watch them all. It's it's a it's a pin it's a pinball documentary. Um, probably my favorite probably my favorite one of the few documentaries I've actually seen. So, and it actually kind of inspired me to, to fire up Pinball Arcade. I actually tried recording a brief session, but um, nothing was really coming up. Nothing was really coming of it. Just pretty much played ass. No, nothing worth saving. So, um, but yeah, it's uh, probably the. It was probably the early part of that movie that caught me. Um, pinball is pretty much a dying breed. Or it's pretty much gone the way of the horse and buggy now. I mean, I... I mean, the only pinball that, that's around where I live is like 20 miles away. And um, even then, the, the tables are super expensive, especially the more modern ones. I think there's like... I can think of maybe two tables out of a grand total of 20 or so that they have there that only cost a quarter but all the rest cost at least 50 cents so and not to mention they're not that well maintained either so but yeah that's that's pretty much what they said in a said in the documentary 
it nobody you know nobody really plays it anymore it's all you know it's all video games or it's all you know console and PC and that kind of thing but as far as like pure pinball like real physical tables it's it's pretty much unheard of these days I mean the only pinball I play is like either FX3 and pin, pinball FX3 pinball arcade and once in a great while Zachariah pinball so Man, this music. So. I gotta shut this down. This might actually jack up my file size. Okay, um, but... I thought I had, I thought I had more, excuse me, I thought I had more, but apparently not, um, so this, this cast actually kind of came up short a little bit, um, but, but otherwise, yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say this morning, so, I'll just call it good here, um, but otherwise, thanks for listening, or thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody, I appreciate that, and I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning, so, but until then, everyone. Thanks again for coming by, and see you all next time. Bye for now, and hopefully I'll have more to say.